we are in El Eje Cafetero. That means that we are in the coffee land. It's not just Colombia. We are in the land where coffee is produced. So we are having one of the best coffees in the world. I'm a Mexican woman who decided to become a digital nomad again, together with her husband. We were living in Querétaro, Mexico, a great city to live because it's recognized for being one of the safest places in Mexico, without mentioning that it's very pretty too. We are in our 30s and we were doubting whether to settle down or not in this beautiful city. After being renting a house and not having our own furniture yet, we decided to travel again as we realized we wanted to feel the excitement of being digital nomads again and be in other environments. We flew to a safe and quiet city in Colombia with very kind people and amazing nature. We came here last year and we loved it for many reasons that I will be showing you in my next videos. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Maybe this can be a place for you too. Good morning. We arrived to Manizales yesterday at night. Late, around nine at night, we were super, super tired because it was a long journey. We did a layover in El Salvador, then we flew to Bogota, and from Bogota we flew to Pereira, we took a bus, and we arrived at home. I am so excited to show you our home for the next two months. It's very cozy, but now we are very hungry because we didn't have dinner yesterday and we are looking for a place to have breakfast. This is the street where we live. There's a lot of movement. There's a lot of people walking, looking for breakfast. It feels very, very peaceful. And the weather now it's super cool, it's very nice, it's sunny, it's not hot and it's not cold. And we were told that January was one of the best months to visit because we have this mild weather. So let's find a place to have breakfast. We found this coffee place. I can see there's a lot of bread. It's good because I like bread, but it's interesting to see this because there, in many coffee places you can see that it's kind of a bakery, but they, have, they also have breakfast. I ordered eggs in their style, I'm very excited to show you, and they've ordered tamal. Tamal is totally different compared to the tamales in Mexico. I just want to make a quick interruption to tell you that I offer Spanish conversation courses or Spanish classes if you're interested in learning Spanish. If you've been starting to study with a book and then you came to Mexico and you realize that we people, we don't speak like that, well, in my courses, you are going to learn the real way we Mexicans speak. I've created these courses with real words, real Mexican phrases, real phrases that we speak daily. Cursos de Thrive me ayudan muchísimo a mejorar mi nivel español y hablar con fluidez. Me encanta esto. Hay dos oportunidades para practicar las cosas que aprendimos en nuestra... If you want to start from zero, I have good news for you. Get an asynchronous course where you are going to study at your own time, but you're going to still be speaking with native Spanish teachers to be able to practice Spanish. Only for $25, you are going to get eight weeks of lessons speaking with native Spanish teachers, and you're gonna get functional Spanish. If you already know the basics and you just want to extend your vocabulary, you can also check out my courses where I focus on helping you to improve your Spanish. Check out my website, it's thriveinspanish.com. This tamal 
for me. I wa I'm gonna show you in a bit, but this tamal for me is like a full meal. It has a lot of meat, salsa. It's involved in a very in a huge leaf. And the tamal in Mexico for me, it's like a food that you can have. Like a snack, you know? You can have a snack and then you can order more food. That's the way we eat tamales. In Mexico, you can have more than one tamal. In Colombia, I don't imagine myself eating more than one tamal. Chocolate is a thing here. Everywhere, everywhere you go, you can order your chocolate with cheese. Do you remember that in another video I said that they eat chocolate with cheese? And it tastes very, very good. It's, it's a good combination. So here I have my eggs, arepa, cheese, and chocolate. This is my breakfast for today. The lady already gave us the, the check. And we were trying to guess how much for chocolate, coffee, tamal, and empanada. And my eggs was going to be. We said 34 thousand Colombian pesos which is around in dollars seven dollars then we saw the check and it says twenty one thousand five hundred pesos how much is this five dollars four dollars fifty four dollars fifty for all this food that we just had I'm surprised Of course, we need the basic stuff to to have at home because we haven't we don't have anything. So we bought milk, rice, coffee, you know, things to that we need to have at home. Dave is in paradise because Dave likes beans very much, and here at the supermarket, in a random supermarket, there are tons of different beans that I haven't seen in Mexico. Check out these beans. They are enormous beans, like wine color, super big. They are even white beans. <laughs> this is so cool, so cool. And there are, all this aisle is for beans. We are going to try this, these beans. Another cool thing that I forgot to record is that every I'm not lying. Every 30 minutes, probably outside the place where we are living, that where we are going to stay, every 30 minutes a bus is passing. That's very convenient because it takes you to the most um, touristy, um, iconic places here in Manizales. And we are heading to El Centro, the center of Manizales. We want to hang out around there, but mostly we want to have a very nice coffee with piquete or with alcohol. The last time we were here, they were very nice and we want to go back again. We are in the Cathedral of Manizales. It's the tallest in Colombia. It's very beautiful. It has a Gothic style and it's characterized for its vitrales. I'm gonna put the, the word here in English. There is a coffee place inside the cathedral. It's very cool. So we were there and now we are heading to have a, a coffee in a place that we really like. We are having a very tasty coffee, but it's not just a coffee, it's called Manizaleño. This Manizaleño is very special because it's, it has coffee, a dash of aguardiente, and a dash of rum. The combination is ah, out of mind. This is Dave's second coffee, and the owner Heard. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. And this is my second coffee as well. This is Carajillo. You you already know Carajillo, but this has tequila. The owner heard my accent and he realized I was Mexican and he offered a Carajillo with tequila. So, oh my God. 
unbelievably tasty. We are in a Leje Cafeteo. That means that we are in the coffee land. It's not just Colombia. We are in the land where coffee is produced. So we are having one of the best coffees in the world. This cup of coffee in Mexico or in, or in any other place in the world can be very tasty and probably expensive as well. I was walking around the streets of Manizales and I found a very interesting stall. It's a stall that has a lot of different things to make jokes. There's excrement, human excrement, there are cockroaches, spiders, there are even joke candies. Some of them have garlic, um, some of them stain your teeth, and most of them are spicy. If you didn't know, Colombian people don't eat chili at all. So I understand why they have a lot of these candies as a joke. This is funny for me because in Mexico, we love chili with candy. This is part of our culture. This is how we eat candies. I bought this with mint and chili and I'm gonna try it. It's very tasty actually. <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> and it's not spicy. We are in Chipre. This is another part of Manizales that is on the hill as you can see. People come here, especially every Sunday, because you have a very beautiful view from here. The mountains are very green. You can feel a pure air. You can feel a lot of peace, even though there are, it's crowded now, but you don't feel, well, I don't feel overwhelmed. I feel very happy. We, we are feeling very happy, Dave and I here, and we are very thankful that we have this opportunity to be here. We really like this place. I hope I can transmit what I what we feel when we are here in Manizales. I don't know if it's the nature, I don't know if, if it's the people, if it's because we have the time to spend time together without having to think in other things that are not important. So I'm I'm very happy. I'm very happy. Thank you very much to all my patrons who support this channel. I hope you enjoy this trip with me in Colombia. This is a very important part of my life. Colombia is a country that I really like as much as my country, Mexico. And I hope my perspective gives you an idea of why I love Colombia. And you can get a different perspective from my point of view. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that I was telling Dave earlier that a thing that I noticed about women in Colombia is that they don't feel shy wearing the clothes that they want to wear. It doesn't matter if they are showing a little bit more of belly, uh, it doesn't matter the shape, their shape, uh, their, their height. They feel very proud, uh, with a lot of confidence, they are walking through the streets of Colombia, well, at least of this city, and this is something that I really like. I, re I like it very, very much. I think it's more or less the same in Mexico. I remember a friend of us told us that he was very surprised that the women in Mexico don't feel shy wearing whatever they want to wear, and that is true as well. But uh, I feel here people women are wearing tops, bras, and that's the only thing that they are wearing. I know that I am comparing, but Querétaro was the last place where we were living. In Querétaro, I never saw a woman wearing just a top or a bra on the streets. So this is something that I wanted to point out. Let me know if you have any other questions, cultural, cultural differences, and I will gladly answer. Thank you very much, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment below. If you have any questions about 
Colombia, the country. If you want to watch a video about something specific in Colombia, unique, let me know in the comments and I will take it into consideration, definitely. See you soon, guys.